A price taker is what a firm in a perfectly competitive market is. In that, it must take the prevailing market price. For example, a wheat farmer must take the market price for wheat if they want to sell their wheat. In this chapter, we will discover how firms make production decisions in a perfectly competitive market. First, let's look at some de basic definitions. Total revenue is equal to the price of the firm's product multiplied by the quantity of product the firm produces. Opposite of revenue is cost. Total cost is the average cost multiplied by the quantity of the product that the firm produces. When we subtract the total cost from the total revenue, then the result is profit. Total revenue for a perfectly competitive firm is a straight line sloping up. The slope is equal to the price of the good. Total cost also slopes up, but with some curvature. At high levels of output, total cost begins to slope upward more steeply because of diminishing marginal returns. The maximum profit will occur at the quantity where the gap of total revenue over total cost is largest. Marginal analysis is very useful when we analyze markets. Marginal revenue is determined when the change in total revenue is divided by the change in total quantity. On the other hand, marginal cost is derived by dividing the change in total cost by the change in total quantity. Finding the profit maximizing point for a firm is easy when we use these marginal trends because the point where the marginal revenue equals marginal cost is the profit maximizing level of production. It is also important to note that the marginal revenue is equal to the price to firms operating in a purely competitive market. Again, for a perfectly competitive firm, the marginal revenue curve is a horizontal straight line because it is equal to the price of the good, which is determined by the market. The marginal cost curve is sometimes first downward sloping if there is a region of increasing marginal returns at low levels of output, but it is eventually upward sloping at higher levels of output as diminishing marginal returns kick in. The profit maximizing point can be found where the marginal revenue line and the marginal cost curve intersect. The profit maximizing point relates back to the market supply and demand as the equilibrium. When we incorporate average cost into our analysis, then we clarify where the firm is actually making a profit, breaking even or experiencing a loss. In the top left graph, A, price intersects marginal cost above the average cost curve. Since price is greater than average cost, the firm is making a profit. At the top right in graph B, price intersects marginal cost at the minimum uh, point of the average cost curve. Since price is equal to average cost, the firm is breaking even. At the bottom in graph C, price intersects marginal cost below the average cost curve. Since price is less than average cost, the firm is experiencing a loss. Time for some more definitions. Then we will take a look at the concept in a visual way. A company has to decide whether to operate or shut down in its operation depending on if it is experiencing enough of a loss. Borrowing from our established definitions, the shutdown point is determined by the average variable cost and the marginal cost curves of a firm. The point at which they meet is the shutdown point. If the price is equal to or greater than the shutdown point, then the firm will continue to operate. If the price is less than the shutdown point, then the firm will shut down its operations. It is important to note that this does not mean that the firm is selling out and leaving the market. It is just shutting down in the short run. In the graph on the left, the firm produces at a level of 50. It is making losses of $56, but price is above average variable cost, so it continues to operate. This is called loss minimization. In the graph on the right, total revenues are $72 and total cost is $144 for overall losses of $72. If the farm shuts down, it must pay only its fixed cost of $62. Shutting down is preferable to selling at a price of $1.80 per pack. The marginal cost curve can be divided into three zones based on where it is 
crossed by the average cost and the average variable cost curve. The point where marginal cost crosses average cost is called the zero profit point. If the firm is operating at a level of output where the market price is at a level higher than the zero profit point, then the price will be greater than the average cost and the firm is earning profits. If the price is exactly at the zero profit line, then the firm is making zero profits or breaking even. If price falls in the zone between the shutdown point and the zero profit point, then the firm is making losses but will continue to operate in the short run since it is covering its variable costs. In this case, it is minimizing its losses. However, if price falls below the price at the shutdown point, then the firm will shut down immediately since it is not even covering its variable cost. In the long run, firms can enter or exit the market. They are tempted to enter if profits can be made, but if losses are being experienced in the market, they leave. They do this until the market reaches equilibrium. This is where price equals marginal revenue equals marginal cost equals average cost. Producers experience a change in equilibrium and market entry and exit happen when forces like shifting demand, technology innovation, or input cost changes lead to disequilibrium. In the long run, we can also see different trends in industries leading to disruption in markets. In the graph on the left, demand increased and supply met it. Notice that the supply increase is equal to the demand increase. The result is that the equilibrium price stays the same as quantity sold increases. This is called a constant cost industry. In the middle graph, notice that sellers were not able to increase supply as much as demand. Some inputs were scarce or wages were rising. The equilibrium price rises. This is called an increasing cost industry. In the graph on the right, sellers easily increased supply in response to the demand increase. Here, new technology or economies at scale caused the large increase in supply, resulting in declining equilibrium price. This is called a decreasing cost industry. Constant cost industries are like agriculture. That's a good example. Most other markets are increasing cost industries, unless they are markets like, for example, technology, which may be decreasing cost industries. For example, the iPhone or a new game uh, console may come out and the cost for producing it at first may be high and the price may be high. As quantity increases for those, uh, quantity demanded increases for those new items, then the cost will decrease for producing them and the price will eventually lower as well.